أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم I seek refuge from the Satan, the devil, Iblis, in the name of God, the merciful benefactor, the merciful redeemer. Inna salati wa nusuki wa mahyaya wa mahamati lillahi rabbil alameen. La sharika lahu wa bithalika umirtu wa anna awalul muslimin. My prayer, my sacrifice, my life, and my death are all for God. He has told me to be the first to submit, and that I do. My subject comes from chapter 4 and 135. Chapter 4 and 135. The Quran says, Ya yuhalladhina amanu kunu akawamina bilqis ashuhad allahu wallahu alla anfusikum. Awi walidayna wal akribayna. Hmm. It says, Ya yuhalladhina amanu, O you who believe. So it's speaking to a specific audience here. It's speaking to directly to those people who say they believe in God. It's speaking to the hearts, the kalb of men and women who say they believe in God. He is taking them to task. Why? Let's see here. He says, Kawamina Bilkist Shahada Shuhad Allahu. He says, Tell the truth. Even if it's against your own selves, why? Because you are the maintainers and the guardians and the protectors of truth. Why? Bill Kist of justice. Why? Because you had the law who, because you are a witness for God. He says, tell the truth. Even if even if it's against your own selves. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that's heavy. He says, you are a kawamina bilkist. You are a maintainer, an observer, a protector, bilkist of justice. He says, you had the law, you had the law who allow Allah and Fusikum. And tell the truth, even if it's against your own self. But no, 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 no. God didn't stop right there. He says, are we? He says, and tell the truth not only against your own selves, but your parents and the relatives. Oh my God. He is hidden hard. He says, Ya Yohaladina Amanu. He's speaking to you, brother. He's speaking to you, sister, who claim this kinship with God. He says, uh, he says, Akawamina, Akawamina, he says, you are the maintainer. You are the guardian. You are the protector, a bilkist of justice. He, so he says, stand, shuhad allahu, wallahu alla and fusikum. So tell the truth. Stand up even if it's against your own selves. That is so heavy. There's an implied task there. You must be studious. You must be competent. You must have the insight to know the truth to correct people. You can't correct people on half information. You can't correct people on impulse. You can't correct people when you have prejudged them as juxtaposed to getting to know them. You can't correct people. When you don't understand who they are, the Holy Quran says, don't let the hatred of a people move you to deal unjustly. Listen, let him who believe, believe. Let him who disbelieve, disbelieve. God says, tell the truth, even if it's against your own selves. Why do I bring this subject today? Because I expose a lot of disingenuousness, disingenuousness when it comes to me or my family who have served our nation proudly 
with integrity and value. So when I put these things on social media as a sense of social awareness to let people know that me and my family, we a team, we love our nation, we carry the flag boldly. And when we're not invited into the circle, when we're not invited and included in the events that we love the, and with the people we love, the Quran says very, very plainly, Ya Yuheladina Amanu. Oh, you who believe, you are Kawamina, Bilkist, Shuhada, Shuhadaloha. You are the maintainer, the guardians, the protectors of justice. And Martin Luther King said, an injustice anywhere is an injustice everywhere. Now, God, who is the authority, is saying, tell the truth, even if it's against your own selves. Who do you tell the truth to? You tell the truth to people you love. You tell the truth to people who are, are, are in your life, who you want to do better. You tell the truth to people who need to be admonished so you guys can grow in love, in affection. Because the Quran verifies this. It says, He says, tell the truth, even if it's against your parents or your near relatives. <laughs> those, the word akribena uh, means those who are near to you. The, the translator con, con, uh, uh, translated here as relatives, but the Quran says, Akribena, those who are near to you. So when you love an organization, it is obligatory on you to tell the truth to that organization. When you love an institution, when you love a country, when you love things like your family, when you love your friends, it is obligatory on you to tell the truth to that organization, to your friends and to your family. No, the Quran didn't say be bombastic. The Quran didn't say be arrogant. It's a stuck baru. The Quran didn't say that. The Quran say speak to them with a soft tongue that they may understand. No, 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 no. Listen to me. When Moses went to Pharaoh, Pharaoh, he says, no, 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 no. He, he thinks he has some power, right? He thinks that he runs and controls life and death. He thinks because he has some rank and stature in life, he can't be corrected. The Quran says, no, 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 no. Speak to him in a soft tongue that he may understand. Why would a soft tongue? Because when the person is arrogant, they have blind spots. When the person is arrogant, they only see your stature in life and they dismiss you. When the person is arrogant, they can't see excuse me, blind, deaf, and dumb. When the person is arrogant, they only see what's above them. They dismiss what's below them. So the Quran gives the believers an admonition. The Quran gives the believers a direction. The Quran gives the believers a mission. Ya yuhalladina amanu. Akunun akawamina. Abilkist. You are the maintainers of justice. You are the maintainers and guardians of justice. Shuhada, shuhada Allahu, and be a witness. Wallahu <laughs> alla and fusikum, even if it's against your own selves. Brothers and sisters who say, who have claimed kinship with God, I admonish you today to speak truth, to empower. Speak truth to those who are in your lives to make them better, regardless of the consequence. Speak truth to those who are in your lives to make them grow in intellect, 
Grow in nuance. Grow in emotional intelligence. Speak truth to empower. To ensure your relatives, those who are near to you, grow in life. But there's an implied task there as I conclude here. You have to be comprehensive. You have to be competent. You have to study a person. You see, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, he said, actions are guarded by intention. And if you don't know a man's intention, if you don't know a woman's intention, the wise man is very careful with judging people. The wise woman is very intentional before they judge people. The believers are very careful before judging people. I'm going to say a small prayer for you and a small prayer for myself as we go out and fight disbelief, as we go out and fight those who seek to destroy us. Rabbana atakabbala minna innaka anta sami'ul alim. O Lord, accept this dua or this service from us. You are the hearing and the knowing. Rabbana la tuzik kulubana ba'da itaddaytana wa hablana min ladunka rahmatin innaka anta wahab. Don't let our hearts deviate after you have guided us. Grant us mercy from your own presence. You are the grantor of bounties without measure. Rabbana wa taqabbal adu'a. Our Lord, accept from us this supplication. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatin wa fi lakhirati asana wa kina da bin uh, God, give us the best of this world and that of the hereafter. Rabbana innaka ra'ufun rahim. Our Lord, you are indeed full of kindness and mercy. Rabbana amana fukfrilana wa rahmana rahmana wa anta khairun 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 khairun. Ratihin.